Let's solve some equations now, and these equations will involve you to divide by fractions. So you've got to remember that one rule, when we divide by a fraction, you change it to a multiplication sign and make sure you do the reciprocal, so you flip the fraction around. So I'll show you by doing question one. It says solve, so basically we're solving for x, solving for the pronumeral. Solve when x times 2 over 3 is equal to 1 over 5. Now, if I want to have x by itself, we have to get rid of the 2 over 3, don't we? Now at the moment we're multiplying by 2 over 3, so in order for us to change it over to the other side, we'll have to divide by 2 over 3. Now remember guys, when we're dividing by 2 over 3, a fraction like 2 over 3, we have to change it to a multiplication sign and we flip the 2 over 3, flip the second fraction around. So the 2 over 3 so will simply become 3 over 2, I reciprocated it. And then see how we're multiplying? So basically multiply by the reciprocal of that onto the other side, that's exactly what we're doing. So now, because we're multiplying the fractions, we can multiply the numerators together and then the denominators together, just like that. 1 times 3 is 3, 5 times 2 is 10, so 3 over 10 is our final answer. That is x. Make sense, guys? So just remember that one rule for division. All right, question 2. Solve. Okay, again, we're solving for x. So first of all, let's get rid of this 2 over 3. Yes, we're multiplying by 2 over 3, so in order for us to move it over to the other side, we'll have to divide by 2 over 3. When we divide by 2 over 3, we multiply, we change it to a multiply and reciprocate the 2 over 3. So it becomes 3 over 2 that we multiply to the other side. Make sense, guys? Um, and then now we can do the multiplication. Before we do any multiplication, though, I think we can see some common factors so that we can cross out and simplify. So you can see the 6 on the numerator and 2 on the denominator have common factors of 2. So we can simplify, can't we? So, let's simplify 6 by dividing it by 2. So let's cross the 6 out, and then 6 divided by 2 is simply 3. So just replace it with 3 and just write it on top. Now the 2, if I'm going to cross it out, and then 2 divided by 2 is 1, so there's no point of writing anything else. It's just gone. Yes? So now we can simplify by multiplying the numerators together and the denominators together. On the numerator, we just have 3 times 3, and the denominator, we just have 5. 3 times 3 is 9, so we can simplify it to 9 over 5. But we're not done yet, because 9 over 5 comes from x on 2. So x on 2 is 9 on 5, but we're looking for x. So we have to um, go for another step by getting rid of the 2. We're dividing by 2, so let's now multiply by 2 onto the other side. So now x is alone. 9 on 5 multiplied by 2, make sure that 2 only multiplies to the numerator. So if you multiply it, it becomes 18 on 5. That is the final answer, and you can just leave it like that. That is x. Make sense, guys? So we'll do another one. Question 3. Um, again, we're solving for x. See how we're multiplying by 5 on 6? We have to divide it by 5 on 6 in order for us to move it over to the other side, right? So when we're dividing by a fraction, change it to a multiply and flip it, reciprocate it. So I multiplied it. I'm multiplying 6 on 5. So the 5 on 6 becomes flipped and becomes 6 on 5. Now, can we simplify anything before we do any multiplication? You can see the 6 on six and the 8, they have common factors of 2, don't they? So we can simplify. So, um, let's start with the 8. Let's cross that out. And what's 8 divided by 2? It's 4, so we can replace it with 4. 6, let's cross it out. What's 6 divided by 2? 3, so we can replace it with a 3. Now that we've done all the simplification, we can just do it, move on to the multiplication. So we'll multiply the numerators together. We have 3 times 3 on the numerator. And on the denominator, we have 4 times 5. Do the multiplication for me, guys. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 5 is 20. So we have 9 on 20. And again, guys, we're not done yet because 9 on 20 is 2x. It's not x. So we can just write 2x is 9 on 20. And then we'll solve for x now. See how we have 2 times x? So in order for us to get rid of the 2 onto the other side, we'll have to divide by 2. Now dividing by 2, you just move, put it to the denominator. Because when you put it on the denominator, it implies division, doesn't it? So we put it on the denominator, and now we can gather it with the 20. 20 times 2 is 40, so the final answer is just 9 on 40. That is it. And that is x. So make sure you're looking for x by using the division of these kind of fractions.